This episode of Boltworks Today is sponsored by you. From the generous support of viewers through Patreon, I want to say thank you. To learn more about how you can support this show, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com. One of the projects I'm working on now is this little sailboat behind me. It's a 74 uh, Cape Dory Typhoon. And new owners, they just bought it this, uh, well, late spring, early summer. And so for, the, for right now, we're just kind of doing a, a quick freshening up of the boat uh, because it's already summertime now. It's beginning of July. And understandably, they want to get the boat on the water. So we're not going to tie up a bunch of time in the shop uh, doing a bunch of work. We're just going to do the basics right now so that they can get out and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the rest of the summer. One of the projects that I was asked to do for this, on this boat was to repair or replace these hatch seat covers on the, uh, in, the, in the cockpit. There's two seats total. And the problem that's happening on both of them is that there's a lot of extensive cracking uh, going on around the perimeter of these, uh, of these hatches. And looking at it closer, there's one of the problems is that the hatch itself is just slightly underbuilt. There just isn't enough glass. And also, the gel coat that was used for, for building this, I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's very thick. Thick gel coat is very brittle. It just, anytime the, the part is going to flex, the gel coat is going to give. So when looking at this, I really have one of two options. I can either try and salvage what I've got here, which would be kind of a pain, and I still wouldn't be able to say, you know, I guarantee this work, uh, just because I'm, I'm not real sold on how this uh, seat was, uh, was built to begin with. Uh, the other option is just to use this seat as a plug to make a mold and cast an entirely new seat the way that I would like to have it, uh, have it built. So, and that's, that's what we're gonna be going through today. Now the first thing we need to do to prepare this mold before we start laying up our glass is we need to make sure that all of our glass is gonna be able to pop back out. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna take, this, take the mold outside and I'm gonna spray on three or four coats of PVA, or polyvinyl alcohol which is a pla essentially a liquid plastic uh, that's gonna create a release film inside of this mold. Now while the PVA is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get all my glass cut out. Uh, I'm gonna be working with two different types of materials here, uh, 1708 and then chop strand matting. The mold's been sitting outside in the sun for about an hour, you know, give or take. Uh, so this PVA should be completely dry. The next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be brushing in two coats of gel coat, uh, probably a half hour apart and let that set up, and then we'll be able to start laying our glass. Now I'm gonna be, again, as always, using a laminating type gel coat. To use a, a, a finishing type gel coat that has a wax or any kind of additive mixed into it would kind of kill this project, because we'd have to put the gel coat in, then sand it, clean it, and then we could start laying our glass. By using a laminating gel, and this is one of the major benefits of a laminating gel coat, is that you'd have the option of just laying it up and walking away. And if you're able to get back to it later that day, great. If it takes a day or two days or three days, it doesn't matter. It's a laminating gel. You can just keep right on going with the process. See the air getting pushed through?
Uh, I'm gonna let this set up for the night. Um, or at least for the next hour. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get this mess off, get that cleaned up, and keep an eye on this to make sure that nothing starts smoking. <laughs> well, it's the following day. Let's see how easy this thing comes out of the mold. I, I haven't tried it yet, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Huh. That came out absolutely beautiful. I don't have any bleed through. You know, the, the gel coat covered 100%. And uh, I'm just amazed at how easy it came out of here. I mean, that PVA created a full film. I mean, this is, well, you saw me spray it. This is awesome stuff. Well, the only thing I've got left to do now is I'm going to flip this back over into the mold. And then uh, I'm going to come in and with a, uh, it's a little oscillating cutter, but I'm going to run the top of the blade, or run the blade right on top of this, of this um, form. And just basically go all the way around, cut all this excess glass off. And then at that point, it's just going to be a real quick uh, wet sanding and, and buffing it out to, uh, well, to finish it off. Um, if I had spent more time on uh, you know getting the this mold perfect, I you know I'd be able to pull this right out, trim it off, and it would be done. But on such a small piece, you know I could spend two extra days, uh, you know fine tuning the mold, or I can just kind of leave it where it is and uh, pop this out and then give it maybe half an hour's worth of wet sanding and polish, and it's done. So. It just made more sense to put the time into finishing this rather than finishing this, especially just for two, uh, you know, for two parts. If I were going to be cranking these things out, well, then yeah, it would make more sense to have this all, you know, finely polished. But that's not the case. Well, very cool. Um, is there anybody out there that needs replacement seats for their Typhoon 19? Let me know. I'll make you up some. <laughs> Um, well, I think I'm, uh, that, that's going to wrap up this uh, wrap up this little project. Again, as always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I, hey, I'm happy. It's the Fourth of July. I might just have to call it a day. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead, right? So, anyways, I hope everybody had a safe Fourth, uh, an enjoyable weekend, and I will talk to you again very soon. Thank you.